Hello and welcome to my short tutorial about adding an angled video effect to your videos using a chroma key template. First download the chroma key title template using the link below. Once it's downloaded open the file and it will be displayed within LumaFusion. You can go ahead and open the title scene by double clicking or clicking on the edit icon, and then save it to your user titles to use within projects without the need to copy and paste. Give it a name and hit the star icon to save. The title is made up of five shapes. Three being the color bands we will use for the chroma key masking, and the other two are the white dividing strips. The effect is achieved by creating three clips and merging them into one. Start off by picking three videos you want to use to create your single clip. I prefer to load all three onto the timeline at once but you can do each individually. Select the newly added mask from the titles menu and add it to the first clip you have selected. Extend it to match the duration of the clip and double press or select edit from the menu to enter the options screen. In the edit screen enter the color and presets tab, and check the chroma key is set to green to match the first part of the mask. Drop down the ranges slightly to prevent any color bleeding into the white dividing bands and then exit the menu. Now you can see the video you have selected can be seen on the timeline preview, but it's not the part of the clip I want to be shown. Enter the clip edit screen by double pressing the clip, and select the frame and fit tab if it's not already. Drag the clip across on the screen until you are happy with its position and then exit the menu. You can now see the green chroma key section is displaying the first video clip whilst the other sections remain masked. It's now time to export the clip to photos, use settings that are relevant to your recordings. I'm using 4K export as my clips I want to keep the original resolution. Remember to export the video only and not any audio unless you want the audio from this specific clip to be retained. Import the newly created video from the photo source list and trim the clip, so it's only displaying the part of the clip we want. I've already pre-loaded my trimmed clip from earlier. Drag the clip on top of the second video you want to display in the purple second section of the chroma key mask. We now need to add a new chroma key to the newly added clip so that video underneath can be seen. Double tap or click edit on the newly inserted clip. Click on the chroma key tab and click on green chroma key to add the mask to the clip. Change the color from green to purple. You can use the color selector for ease. Reduce the range settings slightly so there is no light or color bleeding into the white dividing bands. The video at the bottom of the timeline should now be shown in the purple area. I want to make some adjustments to what part of the clip is being played, so go into the edit screen again and adjust the positioning under the fit and frame section. Once you're happy with how it looks repeat the previous steps by exporting the movie to photos, and adding the newly created video to the timeline. Edit the clip so it now shows only the sections with the two videos, and the last blue chroma key. Now you've edited the clip place it on top of the final of the three videos, and once again go into the edit section. Add a green chroma key once again but this time change the color to blue to match the final section, and adjust the ranges once again. Adjust the positioning of the last clip in the edit screen on the final clip until you are happy. You can now remove all but the last clip, and the chroma key clip from the timeline and export the video for the finished video to add to other projects. Here is the end product. I hope you found this video useful, and please leave a like or a comment below if you have.